Good morning and welcome back everybody. I have made a mistake <laughs> again. We came a little bit too far east on Interstate 40 towards Flagstaff. I didn't mean to come this close to Flagstaff. It's cold in Flagstaff. And we're up far enough in elevation where at 36 degrees we woke up this morning. Oops. I'm going to turn it on backtrack about e even 20 miles. Yeah, this last 20 miles coming out Interstate 40, we suddenly got to where, you know, there was the slow lane on the right for trucks, just, you know, for miles and miles. And, and um, if I just go back about 20 miles, it would be a big, long downhill. And uh, temperatures warm up almost 10 degrees just going back 20 miles. So going from mid 30s this morning to mid 40s. Then it warms up nicer in the day too. We need, we need to go back a little bit. Oops. Better. Better. What do you think? Just letting the bottle warm up this morning. But you ready to go? I probably need to. She was just out in the middle of our business. We're just letting the bottle warm up and getting ready to go. She might have to go back out. Yeah. She needs to go back out for a little bit. I'll be back. We'll be on our way in a little bit. Come on, let's go. That was that was just being bad. She didn't have to go. But we went out, ran around a little bit more. But she ran around a little bit more. That's what she needed. Huh. Did you go out and run around a little bit more? Say that's better. That's better. You ready to go? You ready? All right. She's good now. But he's a little cold this morning. Yeah, we're gonna get backtrack a little bit. The reason we come out this way was because it was uh, a nice BLM area. I mean, here, look. Okay. It's nice and woodsy. We got. A little motor home there. Got some people up here a little further in a car and a tent. Got a got a little bus over there. Hi Bella. Yeah, and I just didn't think to look ahead about the weather, the elevation. So we're gonna backtrack this morning. Well, yeah, we came up pretty high in elevation, but quite a view from up here. We'll get down where it's warmer. This is crazy. I just saved $41 in gasoline. If you're traveling, use your Gas Buddy app. Okay? Behind me is Interstate 40, and just on that side of the exit is a Shell station and an Arco station. Two stations over there, gasoline is $3.99 a gallon. But on this side of the, um, it, it loves, 
and there's another little station here on this side too um, a Chevron it's only 289 a gallon just across the <laughs> I don't get it so oh, by the way this is the first pump I've ever run into that allowed me to go over $100 so you know I got the calculator out 37.6 gallons cost me $109 here over there it would cost me a hundred and fifty dollars and forty cents I say forty one dollars if you're traveling use your gas buddy app you never know the last spread I thought I was gonna point out on uh, these upcoming exits you know between 25 miles there was that difference just between two towns just go another 25 miles you could save that but here it is in Williams Arizona just from one side of the interstate to the other that is crazy yeah i'll keep that 41 dollars in my pocket that'll offset my mistake from going too far and having to come back <laughs> wow look at the frost on that mercedes <laughs> we're getting out of here well we got to where it was warmer we got we came the whole way back to Kingman Arizona and a few of you I'm sure will know exactly where we're at as soon as I show you this what's become quite a landmark I've seen this in other videos okay all right so, oh I know where you're at huh. I call it the cave to nowhere now I've seen it in other videos uh, so I know it doesn't go anywhere but it's still, I mean, it's still interesting. It's like, who, who started carving this cave? And, and I don't know, you could have gone further, I think. I don't know. Why not just go through this whole big giant rock and go out the other side? It would have made a, a really cool feature to the walking path. Just keep digging. The whole way through the rock and out the other side. But, oh, I did, did I show enough of it? Yeah, of course, names are carved and, you know, things you typically find in caves and stuff. Here's a, I'm better, 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 better. So I've been to this location a couple of times now and I never bothered walking down to this cave. So I thought, you know, gotta do it. Check it out firsthand. But we're gonna be uh, leaving here actually. I need to do some, I need to go get something. I think I burned out the inverter in the bounder. So I have a backup. I have some small, I have two smaller inverters uh, that I used when I first started RVing. You know, a little one, just powerful enough to uh, power the laptop. And uh, actually, it doesn't take much power. It actually powered my printer, too. It's just it's just a little thing. I think it's only 90, 95 watt. And I upgraded to a big 400 watt. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, it's noisy because it has a fan in it. And it's, oh, it runs continuous. And anyway, that's what I'm using right now. Uh, for the laptop, but I need to replace my bigger one. So I need to go to a truck stop or I, I don't know of anywhere else around here that carries inverters. AutoZone has has a few, but I don't like what they have. Probably go to the Love's truck stop and pick up another, I forget what brand that is. Anyway, that's what we're up to today. We're leaving here already. We just got out of the cold and came back here for a night. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be on our way to get that taken care of. What are you, hey, hey, what are you sniffing at? Bella. Bella, Bella. Come on, get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's okay. She's like, okay, but I like sniffing. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big rock. It's not too far around the back back side. I, I bet if I bet if they dug 
75 or 100 feet to go out the other side. We got a team of volunteers down here to, and I'll supervise. I'll get my chair and a cool drink. I'll give direction. <laughs> okay, so something tells me the next video might be related to uh, inverters. I gotta go take care of that. Uh, go get my new one, get it replaced. Anyway, if you're traveling, two things. Check the weather before you go and use your Gas Buddy app. I'm still, my head's still spinning a little bit about saving $41. That's crazy. So, use your Gas Buddy app. All right, we're gonna say, say goodbye to Bella, okay? Bella, 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 Bella. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.